निधि खरे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लीडरशिप एंड पावर एंड लीडरशिप एंड कोर्शन इन वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लीडरशिप एंड मैनेजमेंट सो कमिंग टू लीडरशिप एंड पावर पावर इज रिलेटेड टू बट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम लीडरशिप इट इज रिलेटेड टू लीडरशिप बिकॉज इट इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द एबिलिटी टू इंफ्लुएंस अदर्स पावर इज डिफाइंड एज द पोटेंशियल और कैपेसिटी टू इंफ्लुएंस अदर्स टू ब्रिंग अबाउट डिजायर्ड आउटकम्स वी हैव इंफ्लुएंस वेन वी कैन अफेक्ट अदर्स बिलीव एटीट्यूड्स एंड बिहेवियर वाइल देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पावर इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी कंसिडर टू काइंड ऑफ पावर पोजिशन पावर एंड पर्सनल पावर न पोजिशन पावर इज दैट पावर दैट कम्स फ्रॉम होल्डिंग अ पर्टिकुलर ऑफिस पोजिशन और रैंक इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल a university vice chancellor has more power than the dean of a business school but the common thing is that they both have formal power personal power is the capacity to influence that comes from being viewed as knowledgeable and likable by followers it is power that derives from the interpersonal relationships that leaders develop with followers when leaders have both position and personal power they should use personal power a vast majority of the time overuse of position power may erode the ability of a leader to influence people of course it is important to know when it is most appropriate to use position power and to be able and willing to use it power can be two faced one face is the use of power within an organization to achieve one's personal goals to the detriment of others in the organization the other face is that power that works to achieve the collective goals of all members of the organization sometimes even at the expense of the leader's personal goals coming to the difference between leadership and coercion so related to power is a specific kind of power called coercion coercive leaders use force to cause change these leaders influence others through the use of penalties rewards threats punishment and negative reward schedules coercion is different from leadership and it is important to distinguish between the two so students it is important for you to distinguish between those who are being coercive versus those who are influencing a group of people towards a common goal so up till now i hope the difference between leadership and management leadership and power and leadership and coercion is clear to you now coming to the role of power in effective leadership this is very important for you to understand because it is actually the applicatory part make relationships a priority you need to identify the people with whom you need to establish or develop a relationship also invest time and energy into your existing relationships next don't overplay your personal agenda be careful to ensure that advancing your own agenda is not perceived as a misuse of power next maximize your communication network think about the people you communicate with the most look to expand your communication network to find people who may be untapped sources of information next be generous with information share information broadly and with integrity lastly make the most of your position 
to increase perceptions of your position power, find subtle ways to communicate your formal authority. For example, you might include your title on your email signature, etc. Or maybe you can have a formal dress code when there are meetings in the organization. So I hope the role of power in effective leadership is clear to you. Thank you.